Welcome back to R&W Outdoors. Again, I'm accompanied by my daughter Paisley. She's the goofball. <laughs> uh, so, we are going to attempt to set this camera up. Uh, bear with us. We will do it to our best of our abilities here. Uh, so, this is a little instruction packet they give you. Step one, two, three, four, all the way to six, I guess. Um, on the back is basically how to use the tripod, and, or not, excuse me, the selfie stick. stick, not a tripod. <laughs> Who's the goober today? <laughs> um, so we will be referencing this. Uh, you do have to download the app off of the card they provide you. Apple, I believe, is actually in the store, where Galaxy, you have to go to the web page to download. Obviously, I did that off screen. Um, so we just got our plain Jane camera in front of us. You got to open the door where the battery will go. The batteries are still in the case. We uh, have not taken them out. We just filmed a different video about what comes in the box and that. So I don't know how well it'll show up. Down inside <laughs> there, there is ports. Um, you're going to wind them up with your battery. kind of snaps in place there. You can feel it. The micro XD goes next to it. I do not have one yet. I gotta go per purchase one tonight. The doors actually slide together nice and you can feel them click there also. So now the battery is in place. We are gonna turn the camera on. Uh, as you can see on the front, we are getting somewhere. It's asking a language. We're gonna hit English. Um, it's actually giving you a QR code to scan with your phone. You can skip it for five times. Um, Want me to connect? Hit, yep, hit your device on the phone in the top left corner. I am running a Galaxy. Um, we'll see what we got to do. In the top right corner? Or left. Left corner for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we click this device. It shows up DJI memo request access to your storage to edit and download photos you gotta give it the permission to do so you so we're gonna hit, hit okay. okay and then it says allow dji yep, allow it. To this, you're just giving permissions it just gives us all the permissions we have then all right let's hit device again we're gonna okay and it's asking to use your location uh while using this app. Wow. Wow. We have to do... Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> we'll get there somewhere. It's searching it's for searching. our device. Not sure how this is going to go. We aren't pros at this. Want me to connect? Yep, connect. It's the only Osmo near us. Okay, and it will give you a verification code. You verify that it is the same code, which it is. I have to hit accept. You agree then, to the terms? Yep. Then it gives you information. Uh, allow the access. That's the only way you're going to move forward. And link to this account and serve as your proof of warranty. Uh, log in. We might have to do a login here quick. Stand by. All right, it is yeah. now activating the device. Take that. Uh, oh, oh. And then it will tell you all this stuff. You have to turn it on. Which we already have it on. And then you have to hit the circle button at the top. Well, it wants me, on the camera, it wants me to set the date. Well. <laughs> uh, so let's get the date long as we're right here. Uh, some nice loud clickers. <laughs> it's uh, the 23rd. It's the 23rd. Of 24. Should be the I'm 23rd. sure you can... Uh, oops, I messed that up. Oops. Back to what it wants us to do. Okay, hit on and then hit record. No SD you hit record to turn it on. Photo. Quick button to switch Video. buttons. Okay. It's just basically giving you how to go through your camera after you have. set it up. Um, you can swipe your screen left, right, mm -hmm. up, or down, and it gives you all different menus. Um,
You can go live by the looks. Enjoy live view. Oh, live view, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you probably are able to go live, though. I don't think you can. Um, and then if you swipe all the way, you can hit done. Downloading okay. firmware. So it's going to have us download firmware, which will probably eventually transfer over to this. We that might. way everything gets up to date. <laughs> Okay, so after you, okay, so after you get back into the mm. setup menus, you got to do the firmware update. We went inside. Uh, I don't have internet out in my shed where we're filming. We got it, the firmware done, and I reconnected to the camera. Um, as you guys can see, that's my phone. Paisley has the camera. Filming. You can use it for live displays at that point or a uh, bigger screen to see what you're doing. Um, you can adjust your settings on your phone. You can go from stand slow motion, sorry, video, photo, live stream. Uh, if you go live stream, it's going to ask you what platform you want to go live stream on. Facebook you can do or YouTube. And I don't know what RTMP is. If you do, uh, please tell us. For streaming on Billy Billy, Biley Biley, I probably butched that. Um, let's jump back. Uh, I do not have an SD card as that was telling us, and that's what the yellow band states here in the picture. Um, you can also do a time lapse and a hyper time lapse. We might go get an SD card and film something, you never know. Um, okay, enough with the phone. <laughs> Let's get the camera back over here. Um, and it's still filming, just so you know. We will Weird. try to kind of go through the menu options for you, just so you can see what's going on there. Um, swipe down on your screen. Uh, oh, we got to unlock, swipe up to unlock. Down gets you into the settings. Um, the quick, you can set up your quick thing auto rotate so it automatically goes to portrait mode or not um, voice commands you can set this up to tell it when to record when to stop and when to turn off we don't know if like when you say it it will get like stop recording we'll have to test out if it like gets into the video or not um, that side one you can I'm swiping to the left I'm backwards here it keeps going away um, but that was slow mo and whatnot. If you swipe up, you get to pick your resolution: 1080, 21, or 2.7K or 4K, and then you can pick your speeds as to how you want to film: 4x120 or 8x420. Um, obviously, the higher resolutions are locked. Get rid of that. Uh, That's um. There is another, so you can pick as to photo, uh, video. Or slow mo or time lapse. Um, like, say, if you link it to your phone, you also can do it through there. Uh, the front screen does all the same. Uh, you can select your photos or whatnot, going left or right. Um, go down, gets into your setting menu, menus, and up will do your resolutions. So, either way, it you can use it. This in where it says the action for is your sensor for your lights and whatnot uh, for the low lighting conditions um, and like say if you push the button on the side the QS button that is uh -huh. your quick quick start quick start Photo. video uh, that's going across our front screen I guess So, obviously, as it's telling you, that's what it is. Uh, hopefully, you liked the little tutorial here. As we learn, we will share.